the resultant of two concurrent forces is 2500 newtons and the angle between the forces is 90 degrees the resultant makes an angle of 46 degrees with the one of the forces find the magnitude of each force so here resultant of two concurrent forces concurrent forces means the forces which meet at one point the forces which meet at one point are called concurrent forces the forces which meet at one point are called concurrent forces see for example there are uh, forces four forces so so of course uh, two or more forces uh, which meet at one point are called concurrent forces okay so here I'm considering four forces. Suppose F1, F2, F3, F4. So here their line of actions meet at one point. This point is O. So this type of forces are called concurrent forces because they meet at one point. Four forces meet at F1, F2, F3, F4 meet at one point. Okay. This type of uh, force system is called concurrent forces system. Okay. The resultant of two concurrent forces is 2500 Newton. So, let us consider two concurrent forces B, P and Q. Here P and Q are two concurrent forces. P and Q are two concurrent forces. Two concurrent forces. So, here uh, Resultant of two concurrent forces is R. Let us say R. R is equal to resultant of concurrent forces P and Q. So, is equal to how much? Given R is equal to 2500 Newton. 2500 Newton. And angle between the forces is 90 degrees. So, let us draw the diagram. So, here angle between the forces. P and Q. Force P and the force Q. So angle between them is 90 degrees. Let us say angle theta is equal to 90 degrees. Okay now. So these two are concurrent forces because uh, P and Q meet at point O. Okay now. Here P and Q meet at point O. So these two are concurrent forces and uh, there is a resultant R. There is a resultant R. So, let us assume here P greater than Q. Let us consider here P is greater than Q. Okay. And here resultant makes an angle. Here resultant makes an angle alpha with force P. Here resultant, this is resultant capital R. This resultant makes an angle alpha with the horizontal force P. Okay, na? So, two forces uh, M I I point over they can meet I I because they are concurrent forces. They meet at one point and angle between them is already given 90 degrees. The resultant makes an angle of 46 degrees with one of the forces. I am just I'm assuming that one of the forces P. So, it makes an angle how much? 46, 46 degrees with the horizontal force P. Find the magnitude of each force. Here we have to find P and Q. Magnitudes of P and Q. We have to find P is equal to how much and Q is equal to how much. So we have to find P and Q. Magnitudes of forces P and Q. So how to find P and Q. Here I am going to apply concept of a parallelogram. Parallelo, very important. Parallelogram law of forces. Parallelogram law of forces. Okay. Using parallelogram law of forces, uh, we can find P and Q. From parallelogram law of forces, uh, resultant of two concurrent forces is given by R is equal to root over P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta. P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta. Okay. So, R is equal to root over P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q. Theta is equal to how much? Here, what is theta first of all? 
theta is the angle between uh, two concurrent forces. The angle between P and Q is 90 degrees. So 2 P Q cos 90 degrees. So we know that cos 90 degrees is equal to 0. Okay, no? Put cos 90 equal to 0. 0 into 2 P Q 0. So therefore resultant is equal to root over P square plus Q square. So what is the value of R is already given. 2500 newtons. Put R is equal to 2500 newtons. 2500 is equal to root over P square plus Q square. Now apply squaring on both sides. Here I want to eliminate square root. To eliminate square root, apply squaring on both sides. So you will get square root, square root get cancelled. You will get P square plus Q square is equal to 2500 whole square. Okay, no? So apply squaring on both sides. Square, square root get cancelled. See, if you apply squaring on both sides, square, square root get cancelled. You will get P square plus Q square is equal to 2500 whole square. Let it be equation number 1. This is equation number 1. Okay. We have one more formula in uh, parallelogram law of forces. So here resultant makes an angle alpha with the force P. If resultant makes an angle alpha with the force P, then tan alpha is equal to, one more formula, tan alpha is equal to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. Here alpha is angle made by resultant with the force P. So tan alpha is equal to Q sin theta by P plus Q cos theta. So here tan alpha is equal to how much? 46 degrees is already given. Next. Q sin theta. Theta is equal to 90 degrees. So Q sin 90 degrees by P plus Q cos 90 degrees. Okay. We know that cos 90 is equal to 0. What about sin 90? Sin 90 degrees is equal to 1. So tan 46 degrees is equal to Q into sin 91. So Q by P plus Q cos 90. Cos 90 how much? 0. 0 into Q, 0. So Q by P. Now Q is equal to transpose P. P tan. P tan 46 degrees. Q is equal to P tan 46 degrees. So let us consider uh, uh, this is equation number 2. By solving 1 and 2, equation 1 and equation 2, we will get uh, P and Q. Okay, now magnitudes of uh, two forces, two concurrent forces. That is P and Q. So let us solve equation 1 and equation 2. So we have equation 1 and equation 2. Here, uh, equation 2 is Q is equal to P tan 46 degrees. So equation 1 is P square plus Q square is equal to 2500 whole square. So to find uh, P and Q, so here we have uh, P and Q, two unknowns. So let us uh, write Q in terms of uh, P because Q is equal to what? According to equation 2, Q is equal to P tan 46 degrees. Put equation 2. Equation 2 means Q is equal to P tan 46 degrees in equation 1. In equation 1. So here replace Q by P tan 46 degrees. Then equation 1 is P square plus what is Q? P tan 46 degrees is equal to 2500 whole square. Okay? Whole square. Sorry. P square plus Q square is there. So whole square. Now P square plus. So apply square here. So P square tan 46 degrees whole square. P square tan 46 degrees whole square is equal to 2500 whole square. So what is common here? P square. So take P square common here 1 plus tan 46 degrees whole square is equal to bracket 2500 whole square. Now transpose uh, this entire term to right hand side. Then P square is equal to what? 2500. 2500 whole square means uh, 6250 by 1 plus tan 46 degrees whole square. Tan 46 degrees how much? 
Okay. 